Homonyms, Exercises and Quizzes Welcome to our English language learning video on homonyms. In this video, we will dive into the fascinating world of homonyms and explore various exercises and quizzes to enhance your understanding. Homonyms are words that sound alike but have different meanings, which can often lead to confusion. By mastering homonyms, you'll not only expand your vocabulary but also improve your communication skills. So, let's get started. Before we jump into the exercises, let's quickly review what homonyms are. Homonyms are words that share the same pronunciation but have different meanings. They can be divided into two categories, homophones and homographs. Homophones are words that sound the same but have different spellings and meanings, such as there, there, and there. On the other hand, homographs are words that have the same spelling but different meanings, like lead, to guide, and lead, a metallic element. Understanding these distinctions is crucial for mastering homonyms. Let's dive into our first exercise. In this exercise, I will provide you with a sentence, and you'll need to fill in the blanks with the correct homonyms. Pay close attention to the context and meaning of each sentence to choose the appropriate word. Remember to think about both the spelling and the meaning of the homonyms. Example, I can't wait to see the movie tonight. C or C, exercise one. One, she bought a new pair of shoes. Pair or pair? Two, the wind blew fiercely during the storm. Wind or wound? Three, can you write your name on this document? Write or write? Four, the flower smelled delightful. Flower or flower? Five, he couldn't bear the thought of losing the game. Bear or bear? Take your time to think about the correct answers, and we'll review them together shortly. Now it's time for a homonym quiz to test your understanding. I'll provide you with a series of sentences, and you'll need to choose the correct homonym to complete each sentence. Listen carefully to the context and choose the appropriate word. Quiz 1. She had to underscore the document before submitting it. A. Right? B. Right. 2. The cat sat on the underscore. A. Stare? B. Stare. 3. I'm going to underscore my friend at the park. A. Meet? B. Meet. 4. He fell and underscore his knee. A. Sore? B. Saw. 5. The chef used underscore to bake the cake. A. Flour? B. Flour. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers here, just an opportunity to learn and improve your skills. Congratulations on completing our homonyms exercise and quiz video. By actively engaging in exercises and quizzes like these, you are strengthening your understanding of homonyms and expanding your vocabulary. Keep practicing, and soon using homonyms correctly will become second nature to you. If you found this video helpful, be sure to check out our other English language learning videos. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.